Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we are diving into one of the most talked about, most secretive, and most controversial modern fighter jets in the world, the Suhoi Su-57 Felon. This aircraft is Russia's answer to America's stealth fighters like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. It is sleek, deadly, futuristic, and wrapped in mystery. For years, military analysts and aviation enthusiasts have debated whether the Su-57 can truly match the West's finest jets or whether it is simply an ambitious experiment still struggling with technology and funding. In this video, I am going to take you through the full story of the Su-57, its design, performance, weapons, stealth features, combat role, production problems, export plans, and of course its price in US dollars. So sit back and enjoy because this is going to be an in-depth ride into the world of Russian fifth-generation air power. Let's begin with the origins. The Suhoi Su-57 began life in the 1990s as Russia's POC FA program, which stands for Perspectivny Aviazioni Complex Frontovoy Aviazi, or Perspective Airborne Complex of Frontline Aviation. In simpler terms, Russia wanted a next-generation fighter that could replace its aging fleet of Su-27s and MiG-29s while standing up against America's stealth fighters. The collapse of the Soviet Union had left Russia financially weak, and the aviation industry struggled throughout the 1990s. But Suhoi, one of Russia's most successful aircraft design bureaus, pushed forward with the dream of creating a stealthy super fighter that would keep Russia competitive on the global stage. By the early 2000s, prototypes of the POC FA were taking shape, and in January 2010, the first prototype took to the skies. That jet would later evolve into the Su-57, officially given the NATO reporting name, Felon. Now, when we talk about stealth, everyone immediately thinks of the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 was the world's first true fifth-generation stealth fighter, entering service in the US. Air Force in 2005. Russia knew it needed something in the same league. The Su-57 was designed to be stealthy but in a very Russian way. Instead of following the exact lines of American stealth jets, Suhoi combined stealth shaping with aerodynamic agility. The Su-57 features an angular fuselage, internal weapons bays, radar absorbent coatings, and blended surfaces that reduce radar reflections. However, unlike the F-22, it also has large control surfaces and thrust vectoring engines that give it incredible maneuverability. Russia believed that combining stealth with agility would give its fighter an edge in close-range dogfights as well as long-range engagements. Let's talk performance. The Su-57 is powered by twin engines. The early prototypes and first production models use the Saturn AL-41F1 engine, which is essentially an advanced version of the engines found on the Su-35. These engines provide about 32,000 pounds of thrust each with afterburner and allow the Su-57 to supercruise, that means flying supersonic without using afterburners, at speeds around Mach 1.3. In the future, the Su-57 is supposed to receive the more advanced, Isdelia 30 inches engines, which will boost performance even further, giving it more thrust, better fuel efficiency, and reduced infrared signature. With those engines, the Su-57 could potentially rival or even exceed the thrust-to-weight ratio of the F-22 Raptor. In terms of speed, the Su-57 is estimated to reach Mach 2 at high altitude, with a combat range of about 1,500 km without refueling, and up to 3,500 km with external fuel tanks. It has an operational ceiling of around 65,000 feet. Its agility is one of its most impressive features. With thrust vectoring nozzles and advanced flight controls, the Su-57 can perform extreme maneuvers such as the Pugachev's Cobra, the tail slide, and other post-stall tricks that allow it to outmaneuver conventional fighters in a dogfight. Western analysts often debate how useful these maneuvers are in real combat, but one thing is clear, the Su-57 is designed to dominate in close quarters battles where stealth alone may not decide the outcome. Now let's look at avionics and sensors. A modern fighter jet is not just about speed and maneuverability, it's also about what the pilot can see and what the pilot can hit. The Su-57 is equipped with the N036 Bielka radar system, which is a powerful active electronically scanned array radar. This system actually uses multiple radar arrays, including side-looking radars, giving the Su-57 nearly 360-degree coverage. 
This means it can track multiple targets simultaneously across the air and ground domain. In addition, the SU-57 has an infrared search and track system, or IRST, mounted in front of the cockpit. This allows the jet to detect enemy aircraft by their heat signature, even if they are stealthy and difficult to detect by radar. The cockpit of the SU-57 is designed with modern glass cockpit displays, large multifunction screens, and a helmet-mounted display system. The pilot can control weapons and sensors with minimal workload, making it easier to fight in complex air battles.